aka patterns we're talking something near and dear to my heart a little bit topical i'm going to explain the matrix to you right there the following is brought to you by aka pad welcome back welcome back welcome to another amazing episode of aka pads something something youtube stuff i have a wig all right everyone is doing matrix videos everyone no one has been able to explain this movie, this franchise. No one understands what happens at the end. Now, I'm not saying there haven't been people to uncode it, pun intended. But currently, the people getting the clicks and the views have it wrong. Good thing my view count and my click count is low enough to explain it to you. Let's hit that timer because I, I want to see how long this is going to take. Let's hit that timer and I will add visuals and motion videos whenever I can, it's just so we're clear on things. All right, let's hit that timer. One, two, three, right there. Okay, so the movie, we know Neo is locked inside the matrix and there's a little bit of self-awareness. He knows something is off. Now, this is echoed a lot in the Animatrix, where there's this Olympic runner that runs through the Matrix. There's a comic book where Houdini essentially taps into the Matrix to do his tricks. This is the self-awareness that defines everything moving forward. So there's like a little bit of a prophecy, bing, bang, boom. But here's the important part. The absolute most important part of that first movie is when Neo jumps into Agent Smith. And why is that important? Because by that point, Neo has fallen in love with Trinity. Now, Neo's code with the love mixes with Agent Smith's code and vice versa. Now, here we go. This is what people miss. This is where Agent Smith becomes the one and Neo doesn't become the one. He's like the Anakin Skywalker. Okay? So, the second Matrix movie, we get the Merovingian, we get the Architect, and we kind of get the, the building of this idea that there's reservoirs for bad code. We know this because the machines, the Architect, tell us that they've been trying to create the Matrix time after time after time, and they can't keep people's minds occupied enough, and they need imperfections. So they've been chipping away at what those imperfections are. This is why things are green inside of the matrix and everything's normal outside, meaning there's like yellow, it's shot like an MCU movie. Now, Agent Smith is the one, let me explain. Agent Smith is able to uh, hijack Bane and he crosses out of the matrix as Neo crosses into the matrix without being jacked in. These two characters, their their symmetry. There's a symmetry congruence of the two. Now, Neo seeks peace and harmony and love. Agent Smith seeks to break down the machines. And this is what we see in the two Matrix sequels, Reloaded and Revolutions. Agent Smith is slowly taking over the Matrix when he does the little hang thing and the, the venom slime gets all over people. He hijacks them. By the end of that movie, Neo makes a bet with the machine mainframe and says, if I can defeat Agent Smith, we will, 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 will be at good terms. Machines say yes. So during that fight, it's raining because Agent Smith has completely taken over the Matrix. Agent Smith has won inside the Matrix. His next move, because he is the one, he will bring his war outside the matrix to completely dismantle the machine empire that took out humanity but neo being a guy be he's he he was in point break the point break guy he's like look we gotta we guys just save lives even if they're machine lives even if they're human lives so he makes this deal and then when he defeats agent smith he lets himself go into the matrix and this is where we get the golden glow of neo and what do we see at the end of matrix revolutions 
re, re, Matrix Revolver. I almost said Matrix Revolver. But at the end of Revolutions, we get a perfect Matrix, meaning there's no green inside of the machines because the love that Neo had for Trinity is inside of him. And when he explodes and gives himself into the Matrix, this was a piece of the code, the piece of the imperfection that the machines could never figure out until they saw the code of Neo. And then there you go. Agent Smith was the one. He's the one that really defeated the machines. Neo heals the Matrix. Love is something that the machines could never figure out. That's a lie the little, the, the girl inside the tunnel. And then there you go. The Matrix explained. Now go, go check it. Now here we go. Let's, let's just preview what's coming up next. We're going to be talking. I'm going to be doing a live stream on Art of the Matrix. People, uh, this is the greatest art of book of all time. This perfectly documents what it was like between Matrix 1 and 2. It's already down the memory hole. People forget it. Steven Scrosi, he's the guy. He, he's the artist, not Jeff Darrow. Steve Scrosi is the dude that made the Matrix happen behind the scenes. Now, they documented it. There's like 600 of his drawings in here. We're going to be going through that. We're also going to be touching on, uh, coming up, we're going to be touching on the Burley Main Matrix comic books. The, this is the Houdini story I just told you about. And then we're going to touch Burley Main and Stephen Scrow with Doc Frankenstein. Stephen Scrow, I almost said Scrow them. Stephen Scrochy is the man. But everyone, subscribe, support, let's hang out.